In the spirit of riding the roller coaster when it's hot, I wanted to address Full for a Lifetime and Crazy 316 again. As many know, the Fool filed a DMCA claim against Oh My God It's Chris a short time ago. Of course, we all knew it was a false claim, stemming from Christard censorship. Fool hated that Oh My God It's Chris did a fantastic job of making him look like the ignorant bigot he is. When the well-deserved criticism of his false DMCA fell on him, Fool made a video where he denied it was intentionally false and claimed if it was not a legitimate DMCA, it was because he didn't understand what the guidelines were. Well, I have good reason to think he lied. You see, Fool for a Lifetime and Crazy 316 are friends. Not just YouTube friends, but real life friends. They are seen together in the same room in a video trying and failing to mock Richard Coughlin. Interestingly enough, in that video they used sound bites from a Coughlin video without his permission. This of course being no different than what Oh My God It's Chris did, resulting in the false DMCA filed by Full for Lifetime. When I saw that, I decided to do a little fishing. I was sure the fish in that particular pond were bright as bright as a small appliance light bulb, and I was right. I first baited the hook by commenting to Crazy that he used Coughlin's sound without permission while DMCAing Oh My God It's Chris's and he was a hypocrite for doing it. His response was that he told Fool not to file the DMCA and then made it clear he understood what fair use was. Well I then sunk the hook when I told him that he and Fool committed perjury by filing the DMCA. Well, that's when Crazy swallowed the bait like a Hollywood Boulevard hooker chugging down Mangu. He said he didn't commit perjury because he told Fool not to file the DMCA. Well, of course, this shows that he told Fool that the DMCA was invalid because of the fair use clause before he filed it. So as we can see, the false DMCA against Oh My God It's Chris was knowingly false and maliciously filed to censor her. Then Crazy, of course, had to go beyond and demonstrate his Christian morals by adding that he didn't care if the DMCA was false. Imagine that. A Christ follower who claims the moral high ground declaring he doesn't care if someone lies and commits a crime with him sitting right next to him. You know, with Christians like this, who needs anti-religion comedians?